Stay tonight on a story we first told you about on Tuesday. Providence College has laid out new plans to address a recent spike in violence around campus. The Dean of Students says there have been six assaults in the last two weeks. Rob Nesbitt spoke to one of those victims earlier this week. The school says it's adding more police patrols and late night transportation, but as Rob tells us tonight, some students are still on edge. Rob? Shannon and I have spoken to several Providence College seniors this week about the violence around their school. They say it's a problem that's gotten worse since their freshman year. A walk to class during the day doesn't phase Providence College senior Megan McLaughlin. It's at night when she becomes more alert. Me and my friends have all gotten like pepper spray, like different like alarms that we can have. According to Dean Steven Sears, there have been six assaults near campus in the last two weeks. Safety wasn't a concern for McLaughlin when she first arrived at PC four years ago. Even this last month, I felt like more unsafe than I have the last like four years here. 12 News spoke to one of the victims Tuesday. 21 year old Megan Cowell says she was attacked Saturday night by a group of men outside of PC's Fennel Gate, sending her to the ER. So the tendon that goes from my patella to my, my quad muscle, that's strained. Dean Sears, Campus Public Safety and Providence Police held an open forum Tuesday night to address the violence. After an hour and a half of the meeting, McLaughlin says she had had enough. They kept expressing it as a problem with communication rather than just allowing us to like speak our grievances and taking it to heart. Thursday, PC announced a list of actions that will be taken because of the meeting. A safety and security task force is being formed to ensure that safety measures are evaluated and improved. Students will have access to a late night shuttle service to get around campus and surrounding neighborhoods. Public safety officers are being added to the Fennel Gate entrance where Cowell was assaulted, as well as each residence hall. Lastly, self-defense classes will resume for students wanting to participate. It's putting like a band-aid on a bullet wound. McLaughlin says the safety measures are coming from Providence College when she would like to see more being done by Providence Police to keep her neighborhood safe. We're all a part of this community and like we should be able to like feel safe in that like 500 foot walk to campus we have. I've reached out to Providence Police to see if anything is being done to address the violence near Providence College, but have not heard back. Reporting in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.